next video, we will going to talk about quadratic inequalities. So a quadratic inequality is an equation of second degree that uses an inequality sign instead of an equal sign. So as we as you all know, last time we talked about the inequality inequality symbols and the interval notations. So that's why um inuna ko yun kasi we will apply all the lessons there all the lessons there in this lesson, which is quadratic inequalities. So let us try to solve, to graph using a number line to find the interval notation and to find the solutions of this um, quadratic inequality. So let's say we have example number one and we have x squared plus x minus six is less than zero. So first book for us to be able to find the interval and graph it using a number line and find the solutions of the inequality, <clears throat> we should factor the trinomial. Okay? So the factors of this trinomial is x and x. This, these are the factors of x squared. So x and x. And then we should find the factors of negative 6 that if we multiply, the answer is negative 6. If we add, the answer is 1. So that is positive 3 and negative 2. If you want to check, so 3 times negative 2, the answer is negative 6. 3 plus negative 2, the answer is positive 1. So that's why we have positive x there. And then less than 0. And then right after that, we need to find the values of the x. So we need to equate both of this by 0. So x plus 3 is equal to 0. x minus 2 is equal to 0. And then we should transpose. So the first value of x is negative 3 and then the second value of x is 2. So yeah. Right after that, we can now graph this uh, values of x's using a number line. So I am going to write a number line. So we have 0 and then the positive numbers here up until the positive infinity. Okay? And then on the left side, negative numbers up until the negative infinity. Okay? And then we need to plot the values of x's using a number line. So in this case, po, we will choose between an open circle or a closed or shaded circle. In this case, kasi yung inequality natin is less than. Kapag ganyan yung inequality symbol na ginamit, we will use an open circle. Okay, just like what I told you last time. So, negative 3, and then we have uh, 2 here. So, ayan. So, ayan. After natin siya ma-plot sa number line, we will divide the number line um, into 3 parts. So, using the uh, plot, or yung gagamitin natin yung Nagamitin natin sa pagkakahati, ito pinlat natin na negative 3 and 2. So what will happen next is that, so erase ko lang tong part. So this one, we will still use this. Kita pa ba? Hmm. Ko lang yung given. And then I'm going to move this sa taas din. So hatiin natin yung given natin into three parts. So I'm going to note a broken line. Ayan, using the uh, plot that we did a while ago. 
So, yan. Right after natin mahati sa three lines, we will test the values in each section. So, isipin nyo lang na ito, this is your first section, this will be the second section, this will be the, thir uh, the third the third section. So, bakit natin kailangang hatiin? Kasi we will test the, the values or the numbers in each section if they will satisfy the inequality. Kung pwede ba silang i-substitute sa x and masasatisfy ba nila yung inequality? Okay? Na ito. Okay? So, sa first section, we will choose among the numbers here. So, Hindi kasama yung x, no? X is not included. So, mamili tayo from negative 4 up until negative infinity. So, let's say, gagamitin ko si negative 4. Let's say, gagamitin natin si negative 4 dyan. Gagamitin natin si negative 4. And then, dito naman, between um negative 2 up until 1 kasi negative 3 and 2 is not included. Okay? So, let's say ang gagamitin natin dyan ay si 1. And on the third section, uh, 3 up until the positive infinity, let's say ang gagamitin natin dito ay si 3. And then, what will happen next po? So, let us check if each section is a solution to the inequality by substituting the numbers that we chose in this factored inequality. So, ang gagamitin natin ay ito. Ah, sorry, sorry. So, we will use this, yung pinactor natin na inequality. Kanina. We will use this to solve if... Um, the sections, each section is a, is a solution to the given inequality. Okay? So, pwede na siguro natin burahin yung given. Or, no. No. Not going to erase that. So, um, palitin ko na lang para magkasya. So, yan. We have, we will test negative 4 on this side. Natiin natin sa tapto din. So, substitute natin si negative 4 dito sa inequality na ito. Sa factor inequality. So, yan. Wala na si 3. So, we have 3 here. And then, yan. So, let's test, no? So, substitute natin si negative 4 sa lahat ng x dito. So, we have negative 4 plus 3 and then negative 4 minus 2 less than 0. So, negative 4 plus 3, the answer is negative 1. Negative 4 minus 2, the answer is negative 6 less than 0. Negative 1 times negative 6, the answer is 6. 6 is less than 0. So, no. No? Mas malaki daw ba si 0 kay 6? No. So, therefore, this part is false. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng numbers sa first uh, section, hindi niya masasatisfy yung inequality. Pag sinubstitute natin sila dun sa given, hindi magiging totoo yung inequality niya. Okay, and then the next, on the second section, we have 1. So, substitute natin si 1 sa lahat ng x dun sa factor inequality. So, 1 plus 3, quantity 1 minus 2 and less than 0. 1 plus 3 is 4, 1 minus 2 is negative 1, less than 0. 4 times negative 1, the answer is negative 4, is less than 0. Negative 4 is less than 0? Yes, that is correct. So, therefore, um, in the second section, lahat ng value dito, not including negative 3 and 2, will satisfy the inequality. 
So this is true. Okay? And then the last section, gagamitin natin is 3. So we have 3 plus 3 and then 3 minus 2. Less than 0. 3 plus 3, that is 6. And 3 minus 2, that is 1. Less than 0. 6 times 1 is 6. Less than 0, this is wrong. No? 6 less than 0 is wrong. So therefore, sa third section, lahat ng values dyan, not including 2, will not satisfy the inequality. Therefore, if we will be writing the interval notation of this quadratic inequality, so, burahin ko muna ito, we will come up with this answer. So, ang interval notation niyan, ay ito. So, negative 3, dito lang, sa true na portion ng number line. Doon lang kayo magde-derive ng interval notation sa true. So, false dito sa first and third section. So, you will not mind that. So, dito lang sa second section. We have negative 3 is not included. No? So, parentheses and then 2 is not also included. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng value sa pagitan ni negative 3 and 2, not including them ha, will satisfy the inequality. Okay? So, let's say if I am going to make you list down those values, values of x that will satisfy the inequality, That will be negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. So, kung gusto nyo i-test kung tama, substitute nyo dito sa given. Okay? So, mag-try tayo mag-substitute ng uh, isa, let's say. So, let's say, substitute natin dito. Kasya pa ba? Dito sa inequality C1. Okay, so we have, let's say, 1 squared plus 1 minus 6 is less than 0. 1 squared is 1 plus 1 minus 6 is less than 0. 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 6 is less than 0. 2 minus 6 negative 4 is less than 0. Yes. So, so tama. Tama yung mga values na yun. Kahit ano yung mga values na i-substitute nyo dito, basta... Negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1, yung mga values na isa-substitute nyo, they will satisfy the inequality. These four numbers only. Okay? So, that is how you graph using a number line, quadratic inequalities, and that is how you find the interval notation of quadratic inequalities. So, let us solve um, another example. Last example. Let's say we have this inequality. So, x squared minus 2x minus 15 is greater than or equal to 0. So, let's say we have this. Again, let us uh, factor this trinomial. So, ang factors po niya, trinomial na yan ay x minus 5 and x plus 3. So, if you want to check if these are correct, use, use FOIL method. And kapag ito yung mabas, therefore, this is correct. No? But I guarantee this is correct. So, x, quantity x minus 5 and quantity x plus 3. These are the factors of this trinomials. And then, let us equate each factor to 0 to find the value of x. Values of x. So, we have... 5, and then we have negative 3. And then let's plot this using a number line. Pachambahan uh, lang kanina yung straight na line. <laughs> Paling na naman. <clears throat> so 
we have 0 and then positive numbers. And then negative numbers here. Up until negative infinity and then positive infinity. So, plot natin, no, yung 5 and negative 3. So, we have negative 3 and the inequality given is greater than or equal. So, we will use a closed circle or a shaded circle. So, negative 3 and then we have 5. Okay. And then I'm going to remove this and move this. So right after we plot our values of x's, we should divide the number line into three parts, no? According to plot. So yeah. So here is the first section, the second section, and the third section. So pili tayo ng number dito sa first section, no? Including negative three. But I suggest. Uh, wag nyo siyang ishama, no? Yung mga susunod na number yung piliin niya lagi. So, let's see. Let's say I am going to use, or we are going to use negative 4. In this, let's say we will use 1. And then on the third, we will use 6. Ayan. So, let's solve, no? So, ayan. Essential na paling. So, let us uh, substitute our chosen numbers using the factor inequality. So we have negative 4 minus 5 and then negative 4 plus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. So negative, five, negative 4 minus 5, the answer is negative 9. Okay, negative 4 plus 3, the answer is uh, negative 1. Okay. Greater than or equal to 0. Negative 9 times negative 1, the answer is 9. Is greater than or equal to 0? Yes. No? 9 is greater than 0. So, uh, this section is true. Or lahat ng numbers sa first section will satisfy the inequality. Lahat ng isubstitute numbers dito sa section na to masasatisfy niya yung inequality. Okay, how about on the second section? So, we have 1. So, 1 minus 5 and then 1 plus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. 1 minus 5, the answer is negative 4. 1 plus 3, the answer is 4. Greater than or equal to 0. Negative 4 times 4, the answer here is negative 16. Greater than or equal to 0. So, negative 16 is greater than or equal to 0? No. This is not true. So, in this section, this is false. no? Meaning, lahat ng numbers dito sa section na yan, they will not satisfy the inequality. Kapag nag-substitute ka ng numbers sa section na ito, alinman dito, they will not satisfy the inequality. And then, the last section, let us use 6, no? So, 6 minus 5 and then 6 plus 3 greater than or equal to 0. So, 6 minus 5, that is 1. 6 plus 3, that is 9. Greater than or equal to 0. 1 times 9, that is 9. Is greater than or equal to 0? Yes. So, meaning, lahat ng number dito sa third section, it will satisfy the inequality. This is true. So, if we will write the interval notation of this inequality, interval notation, of course, you are going to observe in the number line for you to be able to derive the Interval notation. So, ang interval notation nito is, uh, so, from negative infinity up to negative 3, and 3 is included no, in the solution of the inequality, no? 
union, and then ano pa, ito. So, 5 is also included up until positive infinity. So, this will be your interval notation. And if we will be listing 5 values na magsasatisfy sa inequality, kasi hindi ko pwedeng ipalist sa inyo lahat, katulad ng example number 1, kasi finite yung number doon, ibig sabihin limited. Okay, dito, hindi tayo limited. Ayun, up until negative and positive infinity tayo. So, let us, let's say, we will list 5 values of x that that will satisfy the inequality. So, pwede si uh, negative 6, pwede si negative 5, pwede si negative 4, pwede si 6, pwede si 7. Ayan yung mga numbers. Included si negative 3 tsaka si 5, of course. Pwede din sila. Of course. And then, um, if you want to see kung tama ba itong mga numbers na to, kung magsasatisfy talaga sila sa inequality, katulad ng sinasabi ko, well, let us test. Um, taas ko lang ito. Bagyan. So, let us test them, no? They will really satisfy the inequality. So, let's say I am going to use 6 and then substitute ko siya dun sa inequality. Tingnan natin kung tama. So, 6 squared minus 2 times 6 minus 15 is greater than or equal to 0. 6 squared is 36 minus 2 times 6 is 12 minus 15 greater than or equal to 0. 36 minus 12, that is uh, 24. Tawa? 24, yes, minus 15 is greater than or equal to 0. 24 minus 15, the answer is 9 is greater than or equal to 0, yes. So, tama. Tama yung dinis mong value na x. So, that is how you compute for the <laughs> interval notation. That is how you find the interval notation. The solutions in the inequality, which are the values of x that will satisfy the inequality. And that is how you graph the inequality using a number line. So, that's all for quadra quadratic inequalities. Thank you for listening.